On today's episode, I want to talk about renovations, but instead of sitting in the office talking to you about them just straight to the camera, I'm going to take you on a tour through the house that my wife and I purchased and are currently renovating. Now we're mid-renovation, so everything is totally opened up. So I'm going to be able to talk to you a little bit about what the house was when we bought it and hopefully what it's going to become when we're finished. So let me tell you a little bit about the house that we got first. So it's a semi-detached property. Uh, we're located in Midtown. Um, and you'll notice that there are two front doors. You can see uh, two white doors, not the red door over my shoulder here that belongs to the neighbors, uh, but the two white doors that are over there. So the white door that I'm pointing out right there with the uh, glass in the middle, um, was a door that it went up immediately a set of stairs to a two bed, one bath apartment with a living room and a kitchen. And then the other door that was a little bit further over there in the alcove moor uh, went onto the main floor of the house and it also opened up to a two bed, identical floor plan, two bed, one bath apartment. And the basement would be accessed by walking from the front of the house down the alleyway between the two houses towards the back. And there's a set of stairs going down. It looks very dungeony now because it's kind of covered up with a bunch of construction material. Uh, would, would go down a set of stairs. Basement was completely unfinished. It was just used for laundry and storage. And the plan was to take the main floor and upper apartment and convert them into a single family home for my wife and our family. Uh, the upstairs would have three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and then downstairs would have the usual stuff plus another powder room. So it would be a three bed, three bath home in total. And then we would take the basement space and convert it into a legal basement apartment. Okay, so you probably recognize these uh, two doors. They're the ones that I pointed out uh, at the beginning of the video. Uh, this uh, door I told you uh, originally led up a set of stairs. Uh, to the upper apartment. Now it's going to be the entrance for the basement apartment. So you can see that uh, it's kind of already walled off and there's a set of stairs going down. So let's go downstairs and take a look at what's going on. So the first thing that you might notice is how tall it is down here. So originally the basement was about six foot five, six foot six. The, the floor was pretty wavy. Uh, we decided that we were going to spend the money to dig down two feet. So uh, our basement has been underpinned uh, and the ceilings are now finished with in-floor radiant heating, uh, eight feet in total once the uh, finished ceiling is put in. So I'm now actually standing in the space underneath the stairs, which will be some extra uh, storage for uh, the people living down here. And what you're looking at right now will probably be uh, the like living room where the, the couch and the TV watching and et cetera is happening. Um, right up there where you'll see that board right in the middle of your screen, right about now, um, there is a window there. That window is actually gonna be doubled in size, so it'll be nice and bright down here. We're also gonna be putting in a window and window well here on the north wall. So probably up there somewhere, we've got our masons coming back next week to uh, open, up a, open up a hole and get in another window. So it'll be nice and bright down here with the eight foot ceilings. This space over here will be the kitchen. So you can see the plumbing, the red and the blue pipes right there. That's where the sink obviously will be. Uh, there's going to be a 10 foot island kind of in this space right here that'll act as the dining space and extra counter space, of course. Full sized appliances, uh, everything you'd need from a lovely kitchen. And as we walk down past the kitchen, past the living room, uh, we're headed towards where the bathroom and more storage and ultimately the bedroom will be. Uh, so entrance to the bathroom will be right here in this kind of cavity that's right there. That's where the laundry will be. We'll have stacked laundry, so there'll be ensuite laundry for both upstairs and down. Uh, walk in through here, that's where the um, vanity and uh, sink will be. And then around the corner, uh, you'll have the uh, shower and tub. And then right around the corner, right here, will be the toilet. The bathroom will be a semi-ensuite, so you'll be able to go from the bathroom into the bedroom. And here is the bedroom space here. Um, there will be a nice big window. It hasn't been installed yet, but right there where that plywood is. At that back, that entire wall, uh, over 10 foot wall, will be uh, his and her uh, closet. So lots and lots of storage space. And then over here as well, where the, some of the windows that are eventually getting put in are sitting is where there'll be another huge storage closet. So back upstairs, that's that second door that uh, opened up originally into the main floor apartment. It's now gonna open up into dining space. So that space right there will be our dining room. And then as we progress, 
we will get into the kitchen. Dining room and kitchen will be kind of open concept together. You see those black pipes sticking up in the, uh, from the floor? That's where um, the dishwasher is going to be. So we're gonna have an 11 foot island uh, in the middle of the kitchen, middle of the main floor here. Uh, lots of counter space, lots of extra storage, bar fridge, etc., etc. We'll have a nice big window in the middle of all of our cabinetry so the kitchen will be nice and bright. Past the kitchen, we're gonna get to where the powder room is going to be. So that's uh, that opening right there that you're looking at. So we'll just have a two-piece bathroom there. And then on the right, this space right here is going to be some pantry storage. So kind of, um, uh, there'll be a wet bar kind of right there where you see uh, that board and then uh, more kind of uh, floor to ceiling storage, just a little bit of an extension of the kitchen, if you will. And then as we pass through this space, back here will be the living room. So. Um, our sliding doors entering uh, out onto the backyard aren't installed yet, uh, but that's what that plywood is there. Uh, and this wall right here will probably be where the TV will go. So that'll be, um, this will be like our, our family space. Now this door enters out into the backyard and I'm not gonna bother going out there because it's a bit of a disaster with uh, uh, all the, like some of the material just kind of throwing it about. Uh, but we are lucky enough to have uh, two car parking at the back off of a, um, I guess a right of way, if, if you will. Uh, there's a, a long bank of garages. This is the door that uh, our family will use probably 90% of the time because the parking is at the back. And so that uh, will open up onto some space here. This here will be our front, front uh, closet, which is uh, holding some of our uh, plumbing rough in stuff right now. And then you'll see kind of the, the rough staircase going upstairs. So let's head up and show you what's going on on the second level. So as we get to the top of the stairs, uh, there's a, a room right at the top of the stairs and that'll be our laundry room. So we'll have a full size laundry room um, with a laundry tub and everything like that at the top. So we won't have to cart laundry up and down some stairs, which will be great. And then immediately next to the laundry room will be a third bedroom. That'll be my office for uh, quite a while. And then uh, some closets here and then second bedroom here as well. So as you head down this hallway, um, going towards what will be the master bedroom, as well as uh, our main bath upstairs. So the en this entrance right here is will be a uh, four-piece bathroom with a, uh, a tub and shower. And then kind of going back around this corner, this will be the entrance to the master bedroom. Uh, that used to be a, a door that could open up onto like a wooden fire escape for the uh, apartment that was up here on this second level. Uh, we've turned it into a, a full length window. Uh, and then we will have uh, a ensuite bathroom right here. That'll be a three piece. So that's the entrance right there. And then over there will be the sleeping area. And then we've got this lovely huge window on the south side of the house with a very nice view out onto some trees uh, just beyond the backyard. So that concludes the tour. Uh, we're very close to wrapping up electrical and plumbing. Uh, next would be getting insulation and drywall, and then we start doing finishes, things like flooring and tiles and the kitchen and all that kind of stuff. So if you're watching this, if you have any questions about what it's like to go through a renovation of this magnitude, um, rough general costs of things like that, uh, contacts maybe for an architect, uh, or a general contractor, anything like that. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, we've been very involved uh, with the renovation and I'd be happy to kind of share any information that I might have that might, uh, might be useful to you. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Uh, my name is Jamie Harnish, Toronto Real Estate Navigator with Bosley Real Estate. And I'll be sure to give you a tour uh, as we get closer to uh, completion of our project. Take care.